Welcome. In this video, we're going to talk about what happens for companies, how you succeed in your markets once you've effectively crossed the chasm, gone from the innovative argument or the innovative company to the one that now is part of a large industry developing these products and you have your own customers. What tends to happen in the marketplace is that the way a particular product or service is provided, a solution to a customer need, becomes a particular design, a dominant design it's called. That is, there's a lot of different ways. Railroads have many different types of tracks in the past. Cars look very different. Airplanes look very different. Phones look very different. And eventually, what's called a dominant design emerges. That is, the structure of how a problem is solved is solved in a similar dominant way. One of the things that you try to do as this transition is occurring with your customers, you're designing a product that supplies their needs, but what you're also trying to do is in, influence the overall design process of how the problem is being solved more generally by supporting your customers, more generally to get more and more customers adopting the design, the dominant design, that you then have control over. If you think about it, this is how markets have evolved over the years. Certain structures came out, cars all sort of look the same, they look different in the past. Fast food joints used to all look, the same, look be very different and then they sort of merged into this McDonald's look. Now we have other industries that develop, uh, large stores start to develop, these are called strategic groups, these it used to be you had a lot of different department stores, then you had the Home Depot come out and then Lowe's and then a lot of these me mega stores developed. This is a dominant design of how customer needs are being serviced. Your goal is to become one of those. When there's radical changes occurring, new firms have the opportunity to not only develop the initial products, go through crossing the chasm, but also you're innovative and in a way understand the market better than anyone else, you could establish this dominant design like Twitter, dominantly this sort of social media or Facebook with the dominant design. As a startup business, you have the opportunity to begin to shape the growing market into a design which you control. This is done generally by setting the technical standard. You are creating discount prices. You, Microsoft Office is an example of this, where you come in and you get lower prices, you have larger scale, you're consolidating the market, you're able to offer things at a lower price, you're able to add, ha, include add-ons into your product, you're building all of these relationships with producers, with customers, with large suppliers and distribution channels, advertising, brands, you build all of these areas while you're growing in the market to try and influence the dominant design landing in your lap. Of course, it can go a different way, in which case you lose, but that's where your marketing strategy develops as you move further along. The trick to get into the market quickly, the trick is to try and cross the chasm effectively, learn more from your customers, choose the customer sets in a way that you can develop a design that not only supports your customers, but more broadly, other customers as well, and then begin to shape how people solve that particular problem with the, in a, on a large scale, in a very large market, using your design as the basic primary approach. This is how the final stage, if you will, of, of companies that start small becoming dominant in a particular relatively large industry, airlines, whatever. In our last lecture on the markets, We've gone through the whole process of starting, finding customer needs, finding the market dynamics, riding those through the S-curve, and then eventually crossing the chasm successfully and becoming the dominant design in the industry. Um, we'll close a little bit with the next lecture, or the next to final video, a little bit more focused and just talk about the pricing itself and a little bit about personal selling. And then we'll close out this section on building the markets and the marketing plans for ventures.